I come across many people who want to achieve bigger things in their life. They have their own dreams, they want to be rich, they want to be famous and they have their own goals that they have set for themselves and they want to achieve. But in my experience, most of the people lack one particular character that is achieving their goal because they do not have the capacity, tendency, competency of achieving their goals in terms of goal orientation at work. What does it mean? It simply means that they write their goals, then they forget about it and they think that it will happen on its own. And because of which they lack interest, they don't review the plans, they don't look at and track their goals and ultimately they lose focus, they lose interest and eventually they quit and they give up and they forget about their goals. Whereas when it comes to successful people, when it comes to people who are highly successful, who achieve bigger things in their life, whether it is Steve Jobs, Elon Musk, name of many, many people who are achieving bigger things around you in your network of people, they are highly goal oriented. They know what are their goals. They cannot sleep. They continuously think about their goal in their mind and what they are going to achieve which drives them towards their goal. They keep reviewing their goal on time to time basis. They keep assessing where they are, what are the capabilities that they need to have in order to achieve this in their goals. And eventually you find that they are very persistent and focused in achieving what they are achieving. Maybe you can also check that all these successful people where they are today is only and only because they have the high zeal and hunger to achieve bigger things in their life and they are able to do so. Well friends, my name is Arun Thukral. I'm a life and a leadership coach. And in this video today, I'm going to talk about how to become goal oriented at your workplace. What are those seven methods that you can apply and you can put focus to that will help you in not only sh writing your goal, shaping your goal, reviewing your goal, tracking your goal, but ultimately you will be able to achieve those goals. The idea is that once you know those typical methods and once you start applying that in your day to day work, you will start seeing the change and you will become an achiever like Elon Musk, Steve Jobs and many more role models in your life. So don't go anywhere. I'm going to share all those seven methods and let's learn together. The first method in achieving your goals is the foremost thing is plan your day. Let me give you an example. Think about a ship which is standing in a harbor. It has no map, no navigation system. It has no captain. There is no one to support it and it has left the dock and it is on its way. Where do you think it will go? 9,999 times out of 10,000 times, it will go nowhere. But at the same time, imagine the same ship leaving the dock and has a captain, there is a navigation system, there is a direction, there is a map, and they know exactly where they are heading to. What do you think what will happen? 9,999 times out of 10,000, the ship will go to that direction where it is going. The same goes when you plan your day because planning is something because which will help you to navigate your entire energy and your focus for the whole day. The reason is that we are so busy in our day to day operations and on the top of it, there are so many distractions around us that it is very high chance that we lose our focus when we have no plan in hand or handy with us. On the other hand, when you have a plan, very clear with you, there are very high chances that you will become focused and there are very high chances that you will reach with the destined plan that you have already in your mind. So imagine if you have no plan and you are sitting on a weekend, automatically there are very high chances when someone will call you for a dinner or a party or for any other outing, you will just get ready and you will just go out. You will not even think anything because you have nothing to do as you do not have any plan. So not more to add, but planning has a very high importance on a day to day work that you are doing that will help you to focus to achieve your goals, your dreams that you have thought about. It. The second method to become a goal oriented person is to schedule your actions. 
let me give you an example from my own personal life the night before i'm before i sleep i have a very clear plan in my mind and actions what i'm going to do in the next morning and that's how my morning begins at 4:30 i'm dot on my table with the text and the assignments that i have got i have to read review and make notes and i know that exactly at around 6 o'clock i will leave for my gym what does it mean that my actions are clearly scheduled with the time with the location and the action that i am going to do that helps me to focus my time management and my action that i am going to do what does it mean it clearly means that i am very sorted with the to do list that i create for the whole day what actions i am going to do what resources i need everything is very crystal clear and that happens mostly before i sleep in the night so that next day i am completely sorted that how my day going is going to look like and eventually what it helps me is that it be- my day becomes very productive because every hour there is something scheduled accordingly and i am able to meet most of those things which matters most and that's why my productivity is gaining momentum day after day after day therefore imagine if you do not have any scheduling of action you have just planned your day that okay tomorrow i am going to be at work and i will be finishing some reports and i will be attending certain meetings and then i will be coming back home and i will be buying my new shoes or whatever but then if you have not scheduled with time you will see that you will end up losing your time and you will be attracted to various distractions that are happening around you and that's the importance that you need to have in scheduling your actions which will help you to become highly goal oriented person the third step in becoming a goal oriented person is to review the progress of your goal let me give you a very simple example let's imagine that you have decided to go on a journey for 500 km by driving your car i'm sure you would have thought about it that at what time you are going to start and what is the likely time that you are going to reach and you started your journey you came across traffic you took water breaks loo breaks as well as your lunch and food breaks and you do not look into your watch and you do not look at the time of number of times that you have taken the breaks and how long the breaks are what are the chances the chances are very high that if you have scheduled to reach a particular destination let's say at 5 pm if you have started at 5 am there are very high chances you may reach by 10 pm what does it mean it means that you have not reviewed your plan that is one of the major reason that a lot of people they just write the goal and more in their mind rather than on their paper and then they think that automatically everything will fall according to their thinking process but it doesn't happen that way successful people who are highly goal oriented they keep reviewing their plans for two reason one they understand that where they are and how much resources time money is required that they need to retake so that they can reach their goal the second is that maybe they have to relook at their goal to review and make some changes whether it is tangible not tangible whether it is doable not doable and basis that they rework their plan and ensure that they reach the goal the second reason of reviewing their goals time to time is because it helps in reminding your subconscious mind that what you had intended to when you had made the goal in the beginning of the year or at the time when you were formulating the goal it helps you to remain focused because during the during that period that went by you might have got distracted or some other priorities would have come so reviewing is a very important process so think about it that are you reviewing your plans on a day to day basis on a weekly basis monthly basis or quarterly basis if not then start doing it. now we move into our fourth step in becoming a goal oriented person and that's my favorite which is none other than a tool given by a famous author robin sharma he said that follow the 90 90 and 1 rule so let me first explain you what is 90 90 and one rule that means whatever you want to achieve in your life whatever is your goal do it for 90 minutes do it for 90 days and do one thing at a time 
that means for 90 days 90 minutes one particular thing that you want to do i can bet you it's a proven formula that you will be able to achieve it 100 percent i'll give you two reasons for it one when you do a particular very focused thing for 90 days it means that it will become a part of your habit because the research says that it takes almost 66 days if you do something very regularly religiously every day it becomes a part of your habit so first thing is it's focus it's habitual and number two reason why it will work is because you would be dwelling all your energy and focus on a particular thing for which you have been avoiding all the time because of various distraction or various operations coming your way so for example if you really want to build on your strategic skills as a leader you really need to focus that one thing is strategic skills for the next 90 days you will do and find out what all activities you will do that will help you to become a strategic leader maybe market research studies interviewing people reading books which are talking about strategies case studies business uh, situations that all those things that you have to go through for 90 minutes for 90 days and just one thing and i can guarantee you on a piece of paper that you are gonna achieve those goals so if you follow this 90 90 and one principle it can help you to achieve your goals and you will become a goal oriented person. now we move into the fifth step that will help you to become a highly goal oriented person that is network and mix with right set of people Jim Ron very rightly said that you are an average of the time that you spend with the type of people around you which means your company matters most so what you have to do is first identify where do you spend and with whom do you spend most of your time with if it is with negative people if it is with people who are only blaming and talking about others others ideas it's of no use which means these people are generally not goal oriented so you have to spend time with those people and change your company with those people who are highly goal oriented who have ideas who have passion about their goals because when you interact with them they are always talking about something what they are going to achieve what is in their mind how they are working around it what is their plan what all capabilities they are building inside once you are in the company of these people you will always be in that state of mind that how you are going to achieve those goals for a sim and the second important thing that you have to do is what type of conversations that you are having with these people if your conversation is also in the form of blaming others talking about others then you are going to not achieve your goals because highly successful people who are highly goal oriented they are always talking about ideas they are always talking about what is their next mission what is their next goal what is the date that they have given what they are going to do about it so think about it how you are spending your time where you are spending your time and what type of conversations you are having with those set of people who are highly positive successful and who are achieving their goals now we move into the sixth method of how to become a highly goal oriented person at work and that is write down your goals i have seen a lot of people talking about that they have so many things to achieve in their life but when i simply ask them have they written down their goal nine out of ten people do not write their goals clearly what does it mean it simply reflects their commitment their attitude and their seriousness towards achieving their goal it also tells very clearly that they are not serious about it and that is why they are finding it too difficult to write and it goes vice versa with those people who are successful goal oriented they will start writing their goal on a day-to-day -day basis and then they will firm up what is going to be their core goal because they are very clear about what they want to achieve and an idea in mind and an idea in paper has a totally different meaning so it means when you write your goal very clearly you know what you are writing you know what is that you are is achievable what is not achievable what is realistic and what is not realistic but you may think 100 things in mind maybe in 10 minutes there is some distraction will come some thought will come and that goal will just vanish away 
So you are just picturizing in your mind and you are imagining that something will happen. The second benefit of writing the goal is you are helping your subconscious mind with the feels that what exactly you are aspiring to. Now, once you write your goal very clearly, you are also your mind will then start supporting you with giving you ideas which will help you to become more disciplined, which will give you the push to achieve your the goals that you have decided. So it's a twin benefit. So if you are doing like this, as I said, 9999 times chances are that you are going to achieve your goals or at least you will be in the right direction where you have decided. But if it is in your imagination, then it means you are not serious. So think about it. If you want to become a goal oriented person, have you got down your goals written very clear. Now we move into the seventh method and that's the final one that will help you to understand how to become a goal oriented person and that is be 100% committed to your goal. When I say 100% committed it means 100% committed. I have seen a lot of people they fail to achieve their goals they write it down they are very excited about it and they they do everything in the first month second month and by the time they reach the third month, they forget what they had written. And the biggest challenge for that is their commitment. And this commitment gets shaken further, particularly when they face a roadblock or when they face a tough situation, which they are not prepared to. See, these are the things that test your commitment, that test your patience and that test your perseverance that whether you can think in finding solutions to those problems or not. And when you are not able to do so, the easiest thing is to give up. And the general signs and symptoms that when people give up on their dreams or their goals or their ambitions could be, it's raining. So I will not be able to go to my office today or I will not be able to go to the gym or let me sleep little more today. No matter, I will go in the evening and do my exercises. There could be n number of excuses that they will give you or they will give to themselves by blaming others by by or by telling this is the way i am and they will say it is difficult for them to change and eventually what they are doing is they are diluting their commitment of the goal that they have made so what is the best way the best way is when you see a roadblock you think it as a situation where your thinking abilities and God has given you an opportunity to work towards it in solving it because it's not just that you are going to be on the top of your goal but also the process is more important when you know what is the process how you were able to solve those problems how you overcame those challenges then only you will enjoy the sweetness of your success so these seven methods you can apply anywhere in your life whether you want to build up a body you want to go for a promotion you are looking for a job any work situation that you have you want to lose weight even in your personal life you can apply this because goal orientation result orientation task orientation are very very relevant and most sought after skill in your work area if you work on it, you will see you will be not only achieving results, but you will also be in the right books, in the right attitude where people want to be in your company and they would like to learn from you because you radiate a lot of positive energy. You speak and express that positivity across, but that can only happen when you have that attitude and mindset to achieve your goals. Well, I'm sure you would have learned a lot in this video. I'm really thankful for you to watch this and if you have found the content engaging, useful to you, then do write your comments below in the comment section. Give me your feedback. How did you find it? How more engaging I can make it in the future videos that I'm making. And don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Thanks a lot. Signing off from here, Arun Tukra.